Hi and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda and this is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. Today we're working in our Brooklyn sketchbook for the Brooklyn Art Library. I have two pages I've already done. This one, um, Dinosaur with the Wings. I will leave the iCard up there in the corner so you can see how I made this one. And I also have my surfing dinosaurs. I will leave the iCard for that one as well. Here's our blank page and we are going to start out by painting a space scene with acrylic paints. So I am protecting the other sheets with just some maps and um, tissue paper. Well, this, this is the instructions from a pattern and I'm just gonna kind of wrap it a little bit. Okay, so I have it wrapped, clipped, protected. I have my palette here. I'm going to use some folk art acrylic paint. Um, I have teal, topaz, and I'm just going to pour a little bit on my plate and um, then I'll just kind of play around with it. I have gunmetal gray. Just kind of go in space, you know. It's not going to have an actual galaxy in it, but just kind of outdoor, outer space, out, you know, sky looking, I guess. Blue sapphire. Uh, and then we'll add some collage elements on top of it. But this is my background. Rose shimmer. Fire Opal. This one I really think is very, very pretty. I have some Antique Gold. And for the stars, I'm going to use Pearl White. It's a folk art, but that's going to be at the very end. Okay, so you can't really see my... Let me kind of scoot that up there. I'm going to have my plate kind of here. Um... You know the colors I'm grabbing, so any of those will work. Anything you have will work. And so I'm just using metallic paints, but if you want to use um, any other color, go for it. Um, if you like the more regular acrylics, go for that. And I'm just using um, a plaid stipple brush, um, just kind of putting some colors down, and then I will really use some other ones to really kind of make it go. Uh, my gray is what I'm going to use for the sky. And you know, I'm just going to stipple this on, just go to town. Um, this is my imagination. This is absolutely not accurate. <laughs> um, this is not what the night sky looks like at all, but that's okay because I don't want it to look exactly like the night sky. I want to make it my own variation of what I think is going on out there. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go to town. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section down below. And let's get to creating our background. Okay, so that is what it looks like right now. Um, I, I went with gray instead of black because um, I didn't want that stark black color on there this time around. Uh, but if you want to go black, that's fine. Um, just, you know, use whatever colors you want. Like I said, I wanted the gray. Now I'm going to dry this really quickly with a heat tool um, so that it sets. And then um, I will put stars on there and I'm gonna kind of blend this out a little bit. There we go. So um, now I'm gonna 
dry it and then we'll put stars on. I always like to make sure it's dry before I add the stars because I think the stars, if it's wet on wet, they just kind of absorb into the background. So we're going to dry it and then add stars. All right, so this is all dry now and I poured out a little bit of the white um, acrylic paint. That's the pearl white um, folk art. And I'm just going to take my water bottle. Let me move this over so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and just spraying a little bit of water on there. And then I just take my toothbrush, not the one I use on a daily basis. This one is for art only. And I get a good amount. Um, the more runny it is, um, you know, of course it's gonna be more runnier, um, but if it's too thick, it won't work as well. So just kind of play with it, get to what you like. And then I am just flicking on with my toothbrush. And I like the way the toothbrush works. It makes more of like a cluster stars um, rather than individual stars. Now flicking with your paintbrush as well where you um, swirl it around and you kind of tap it works really well as well. Um, it's really just up to you what kind of stars you like. And I like both and I go back and forth. So anyway, that is what that is. I'm adding stars. I think that really takes um, your background from um, an abstract, I don't know what this is, to something else. You can get really close and make good clusters um, and you can get far away and make more, more splattery. So it all just depends on what you want to do. Now, of course, the paintbrush is the messier of the two methods, but I really love it. So that is how my night sky turned out. I'm loving that. I've got kind of this, it's a little bit of a blob, so I don't love it as well. It doesn't quite go. I'm just gonna pat it off and make it absorb in a little better. Okay, love it. All right, so this needs to be 100% dry before we add the collage elements on top of it. So let me show you what we're going to add. We are going to add a pirate ship to the night sky. Love it. So I have a cutting mat underneath my um, my pirate ship and I am just going to take my X-Acto knife, my razor blade, whatever you have, and very gently cut around the pirate ship. So cool. Now, if you didn't have a cutout, I was debating on using this stamp. I got it at Who Gives a Scrap, uh, I think last year, and it's never been used. Look how gorgeous this is, never been used. Uh, so you never know what you're gonna find at your Creative Reuse Center. But I knew that I'm go I would use it and I love this. So if you don't have uh, a collage piece to do, a stamp would work just fine. You stamp it on your paper and I would just cut it out. I'll just do it all black, make it a silhouette, um, which is absolutely a perfect idea. And that is what I also considered. Um, another thing you can do as well is once you cut this out, if you cut it out very carefully, this could become a silhouette. So this becomes a stencil and you can use it for another project and I have done that as well. So lots of options, lots of choices. Um, use what you have and do what you like with it. If you really like that image, then that is perfect and that's what you should do. Um, so yeah. All right, my little ship is cut out. Um, I did decide to cut out the people that were kind of standing there because that sky blue here is um, not gonna go with my um, night sky. So I did cut that out. All right, so it is all dry now and I'm loving it. So I'm just going to put this up in the sky. Uh, this page is a little bit more on the simplistic side compared to the other two pages. Um, but that's just what this page is telling me to do. It's just telling me to take it easy and not go too, too crazy. Um, I'm going to adhere it down with Mod Podge. All right, so I coated the back of it. Um, and I know it's kind of weird to say, but I really do listen to my pages and they tell me what they need. They tell me more or less. And this one just said, this is enough, <laughs> which uh, I think it's it's fun to, to hear what the page has to say. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Mod Podge on there and it does have to dry. Um, and then we will, uh, outline it and add some other, you know, small details to let it pop. Uh, but while that's doing that, I'm going to add a quote from Tim Holtz. This is small talk, of course, because I do love this. And we are going to use replace fear of the unknown with curiosity. I'm using the white one instead of black. I think it'll stand out more and we're just gonna stick it over here just like this. And then I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge on um, just so 
it doesn't come up. I don't want to have it pop up while it's at the um, Brooklyn Art Library. I would be very sad if it came off. There we go. Let's dry this and then we can add some details to the page. It's all dry and I'm going to use the Faber-Castell, the brush pin, and I am just going to um, outline the um, spaceship here. Well, it's not a spaceship now, but the pirate ship in space. <laughs> um, I like to outline when I do this because it just helps it stand out a little bit. And I do tend to outline, so that is one of the techniques I do quite a bit. Now we're going to take some of these um, Prima Watercolors uh, oil pastels that are water-based and we're just going to take a little bit of the black and I'm just going to kind of create a, almost a shadow. I'm sure there's a light source somewhere uh, even though we're in space but I'm sure there's some light source somewhere and we're just going to add that. I just dipped a brush in water to help activate it and we're just going to kind of let it do its thing and just Kind of go to town and that's a little darker than what I need it to be. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and kind of mop up a little bit of it because we don't need that much going on. These are really great. A little goes a long way. I really love them. I am going to go around this quote just very lightly all the way around, just barely at all because we know how much this goes around. Just I just want to have a little bit of black around it just to kind of bring it out, emphasize it, highlight it. So I'm going to take this black that I had and I'm going to take my brush on it and I'm going to shade a little bit around the um, the sails here. And there we go, this page is done. It's not the most complicated page I've ever done in my life, but I really do like how it turned out. Um, sometimes I think less is more and I know you can't always believe me because let me tell you, I usually do more is more when I'm doing my art, but I really do love how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Uh, if you like these art journal pages, I do have a lot more. Um, you can check out my playlist and I will link that at the end of the video so you can check out more of my art journal pages. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I have two Instagrams. I have Linda's Journey 78 and I have Take Time to Create. Um, Linda's Journey 78 is just all my personal stuff, um, you know, family and all that good stuff. And then uh, Take Time to Create is just all my crafty goodies. And I also have a blog and a Facebook as well. So all of the links to everything is in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time.